Yes. Well, Monogen is a player, one of the international players and late stage players, I have to say, in the really hot field of cancer immunotherapy. And we are developing a very interesting pipeline of compounds. Uh, our lead compound is a so-called immune surveillance reactivator and it belongs to the class of the toll-like receptor agonists. A class that is around for a while, but um, we feel that we have the best, well, candidates in that substance class. And it is late stage phase three. So that's an asset I think that we have in the international arena. The other one is that uh, Mologen has quite a rich pipeline. So next to this compound class of our immune surveillance reactivators, we also have um, cancer cell based vaccine and um, uh, mid vector technology, which is non viral uh, vectors. So that's in a nutshell where we are. Well, first of all, the, um, uh, the field uh, in, in the biotech industry, um, as I mentioned, cancer immunotherapy is something where many, many players are active in the field. So that's one thing. Uh, and by just the pure number of players, you can see that it must be something really interesting. That's, that's one thing. The other one is that um, the uh, cancer immunotherapy field has been well, scientifically granted um, the status of um, a breakthrough therapy. A couple of years ago, um, I think the whole sentiment towards this field changed and it was um, found that with cancer immunotherapies, you can really change the life of, of cancer patients. The downside is that not 100% of patients uh, really qualify for that treatment, but those patients that um, respond to this treatment and it's our attempt to find those patients and treat them, these can have really long-term survival. So that's the really interesting part and it's really the next step in um, uh, cancer therapies. Uh, we have quite an interesting news flow over the next 12 to 24 months. Um, uh, we have a late stage asset, so this is late phase three. Um, this compound is called Lefitolimod, so it belongs to the class of the uh, TLR9 agonists. And um, we are, well, in that class, I think the only one, but generally in the class of cancer immunotherapies, one of the few internationally that is so late stage, uh, really nearing uh, and of phase three. So one important part of our news flow story um, will be that we expect patient recruitment for our registration study, phase three study, to finish by year end. So that's really one big milestone for the company. Uh, the other one is that um, we have, uh, end of last year, already finished another important study with the same compound in another type of cancer. The registration study is in colorectal cancer. The one I'm addressing now is in lung cancer, small cell lung cancer. So this study, study finished recruitment end of last year and we expect after 12 months or by the end of this year to start primary analysis. Um, so we will even have data uh, in, in this indication either end of this year or beginning of next year. So these are two very important milestones with, uh, with this compound. And then uh, we have started not so long ago, last year, um, development in an indication which is outside of cancer, which is HIV. And uh, very recently, actually in March this year, we have published first phase one data in this indication. And uh, not unexpectedly, uh, we could show that um, also in a non-cancer indication, we can boost the immune system. So this, the immune system starts to, well, uh, starts to attack really, uh, this, um, uh, this disease by, um, well, contributing to the so-called kick and kill concept. So when the virus, the HI virus is, uh, well, dormant uh, in the immune system, uh, this therapy can contribute to basically wake up the virus, make it present on the immune cell, and then hopefully being attacked by other immune cells. So um, 
this is something where first uh, promising data are around and uh, they are so promising that we have um, very recently decided to um, well go in the extension phase of that trial and, and uh, generate more data. We expect the readout of that trial also either by the end of this year or beginning of next year. So again, another data point that, that we are expecting. And then last but not least, um, we are just about to start, uh, basically medication already shipped, um, to start a um, um, study combining our levitolimod with a checkpoint inhibitor. The study will be performed in the US, so one of our important US activities, and the stu study is, uh, will be performed um, in the prestigious um, MD Anderson uh, Cancer Center in Texas. So that's in a nutshell what we are expecting in the not too distant future. <laughs>
which does not mean that the next day after we have last patient in we'll have data, but well, at least we have then all patients in. Um, we uh, are looking forward to, to seeing the data from the small cell lung cancer study and, uh, and the HIV study, which might happen end of this year or beginning of next year, so two important data points coming up. Uh, well, we hope to um, give real life and, and good dynamics to the combination study in, in the US. So this is a number of things that uh, well, we have to work on and um, that are very well on track. Uh, this means for a small company like ours that uh, obviously also substantial funds are needed and uh, well, as, as is no secret, um, our um, cash lifetime is, is limited. So um, we um, have reported that uh, we expect the cash to reach into 2017, but this means that definitely this year we'll have to somehow refinance the company and obviously our preference is to do this uh, via a licensing deal. But it's not unexpected that uh, also some, um, well, capital market um, fundraising uh, will be, well, used to accomplish uh, a result to bring the company forward and to reach the phase three readout.